I think I just came up with a potentially brilliant idea, and it's taken me about two hours. No. Hour. One hour. One hour. Even more brilliant. I don't want to explain it. It's a surprise. No, this is a how-to video. Right. I mean, it's a surprise for later after we come back from the store. Let me rant. Rant away. Okay, I'm done. Um... <laughs> Stick with us. We're going to be creating some floating slash hanging slash, we're not really sure, bookshelves on this wall right here. We're making some bookshelves out of cedar on the cedar wall. Cedar on cedar on cedar. Stacks on stacks on stacks. I don't know what the design, design is going to be. I don't know how big it's going to be. I don't know what it's going to be. So stay tuned. Yeah, find out. Um, we got this cool wood wall that came with the house when we bought it, but we've never figured out how to actually make it like an accent piece for the house. What we're gonna do is take the whole row off where we're gonna make the shelf, and then this gets cut in this board. Each board gets cut in half at an angle so that one will sit. How do I do that? One sits kind of like this. If the wall is here, it'll sit like this, and the other piece is mirrored, so as we put it on, it sits into itself. So it's nice and strong. So it's nice and strong, and we're gonna really secure that, which taking this off, we'll be able to drill in and find our studs too, which is gonna be really good, very important for bookshelves. It's gonna be pretty heavy, We've got a lot. And then to support the front side, we're actually gonna get some rope and, uh, Go to the ceiling and that'll come straight down and then we're just going to tie knots through you know the rope will go through the hole tie the knot down here so the shelf will sit on that it's going to be pretty cool <laughs> three straight boards and it's going to do to make the, the, the rest of the entire process. <laughs> this piece is going to go up against the wall, be nailed, screwed in something, attached somehow. And then the bookshelf will be attached to this and it will sit in there. It's hard to see it. French clean. But we're not 100% sure how the bookshelf piece that's going to come out is going to be attached or this part, the back stop for the shelf will be attached. So we're building a test piece right now. Hopefully that will give us some idea what we're doing before we burn through all of this really expensive cedar that we bought. So. So this will have more support down here. Mm -hmm. Because this is gonna be longer. Mm -hmm. So that'll have more support down there. So that's strong. And then it's gonna have the rope. I mean, the rope coming down is absolutely necessary. Yeah. Because all that weight is gonna be much more out here. And it's I gonna be way, yeah. I can see it separating it already. Yeah. Sanding. It's like his meditation. He's never happier than whenever he's gotten the opportunity to sand something. So I don't even know if these actually needed to be sanded. Okay, we got all our cleats. We have 
shelves with the backstops. Everything is cut. Kyle's just doing a quick cleanup and then we're gonna head to the next step. We are on a stud finding mission. I used the stud finder. It didn't work all that great. Uh, so Kyle's got his own method. Assemble. We're gonna go assemble. Got the, ooh, almost fell. Got these um, hooks that are just kind of ugly and they're gonna go up into the ceiling to provide support through a stud and then we're gonna attach a rope that's gonna go through all the shelves. So um, they're gonna be pretty visible. So I'm gonna take some uh, oil rubbed bronze, which I'm a fan of, uh, and spray these down to give them a more finished look. Okay, I'll let those dry and come back and do the other side. So this is where we need the bit that we don't have. Uh-huh. Cool. Okay, Home Depot it is. All right, so we went and got the bit to countersink, uh, but I'm gonna have Kyle show you. It's bent, it's not straight at all. Straight out of the box, it's bent. Like Get no. it together, DeWalt. Not even close. However, we do have two in. It is working. However, it is crooked. Kind of messed up one of them. Um, and then didn't put quite as many screws as I felt like <clears throat> this could use. I put the, this amount in the second one. So the first one that I did, I'm coming back and adding more screws. Three inch screw every six inches instead of every 12. It's assembly time. It's always the moment of truth. Uh, the shelves are built. The cedar planks are cut into the 45 degree angle to get put back up to have it all attached together. Hopefully there's nothing that we have overlooked. However, there's that chance. So we'll see how this goes. It's in. Yeah, it covers both gaps, but we can't let go. It's so heavy. Okay. So, are we gonna put screws through the bottom brace as well? 
Because it's not the, that's not the problem. That's too top heavy. Yeah, I realize that. That's what I was saying. We might be able to get away with Brad Downs. I just wanted to put a couple in these. Okay. Yeah, apparently studs don't exist right here anymore, even though we I just nailed them in seven times. It's right there. <laughs> I'd love to see what the structure of this wall looks like behind the drywall. The idea was to have a rope come from the ceiling mm -hmm. and come through here and we tied knots here at the bottom mm -hmm. so that it supports the shelf this way. Mm -hmm. Well, what if the rafters or the joists or whatever don't, aren't running this way. <laughs> but they're running this way. And the joist is out of here. Uh-huh. We're going to have to just make some L brackets and do it yeah. from underneath, which I was trying to avoid because I think that would look cool and work really well. But if that is the case, this whole idea, we did a lot of extra work for no reason. I did not think about maybe like testing the ceiling. Not once. Why do it once when you can do it twice? Okay. I'm calling it a day. These are going to take forever. <laughs> you want it to stick up like that? Ooh, that's hot. So, well, we're just, we're seeing where we need to go with it. Okay. Okay. That'll be good. Yeah, that's going to look cool. Yeah, that is going to look cool. First one done. Uh, well, at least here, you know, we, we might actually want to go ahead and repaint these. Or no. you want to just touch them up? We're going to just touch them up. We've gotten this far, but then realized that the top shelf is shorter and therefore the what are those things called they were too long so kyle cut them down some but they're still too long so now we're moving the top hook power she blows sweet okay so a good trick when you've got to drill in one of these eye hooks, especially this one because this is super long, take another eye hook, put it in your drill. So we'll go ahead and start this one a little bit because you want it pretty well. You want it started pretty good. And then you take your eye hook and get it on there. Go slow, but... That's oh, no. It's not in anything, even though it's directly above... whatever we had in there. That's caused something, but that does not. Uh. How does that happen? It's literally directly above it. I mean. New plan? Put the old one back in again. 
Now we're going to screw the bottom one in as far as that one can probably go as well. Ooh, that's, that's pulling it up. That is... Yeah. That's level right now. Very DIY. Okay, so we're just gonna try the same thing with the other yeah. one instead of drilling a new hole. Good plan. <laughs> Kyle is being stubborn. I am. So I will tell you all about it. We got rid of a bunch of books before we left our last apartment. So we kept the ones that we really love the most and we have way more space than we thought we were going to, which is super exciting. So the main thing is the bookcases are done. They look awesome. They are super, super sturdy. Um, and we did it. Thanks for tuning in.